Hi, I'm Mike and I have a, an allotment, UK. Well, what have we been doing this week? As usual, it's been a busy week and it's dictated, of course, by the weather. And this week we had a, a storm. I think it was called Storm Francis. That was early in the week and there was pretty high winds and one couldn't uh, go down to the allotment. In fact, during the storm, I never uh, left the house. But harvesting is still the main operation. Runner beans are still giving a crop. I thought they'd have been finished by now, but they're hanging on. Just checking the camera to see that it, I'm in shot. French beans are producing well and uh, it won't be long before the second bed comes through. Tomatoes are producing three or four plants a week and everybody's favourite sweet corn. Succession planting of the beetroot is proving to be a success. We've still got plenty of beetroot to go. Checking the onions in the polytunnel, they're drying out quite well. Still not ready yet. And my wife did ask me to bring a couple of onions home. Small ones, she says. I like the small ones. And they're looking better for being cleaned up. And this is today's haul. Not bad. It's been busy in the fact that other events have occurred this week. One, there's been a birthday. Two, we've been having celebrations for GCSE results. Three, uh, my granddaughter's are returning from university where they've had to give up their flats so they've had lots of equipment to bring home and one of them where in actual fact is a step granddaughter is into filming videos and has a set of lighting which she now doesn't have room for I've now taken possession of those and that's another subject which I've got to study and understand we also went down into London on Wednesday to collect the equipment and visit my son who is still self-isolating in his top storey flat and I went with the family and we had a good day. Keeping to the rules of social distancing it was a good day out. One of the things about my son is that he works from home and he has to, I think it's Zoom conferences, he has quite a lot of those and he has a company computer as well as his own and he's finding it difficult to uh, organise the office and he's come up with a with a plan and that's to build a sort of shelf to raise the computer and allow room for the uh, company's laptops to fit into and it has a critical dimension of seven inches and that's not a normal standard size for prepared timber so it has to be reduced down and I've set up the saw and I've cut it down it didn't take long it was only three minutes but I did take one or two shots of the process and I thought this would be a good idea to go through a scenario of being a Hollywood director or editor and the conversation that they have between themselves after the day's take with the rushes in the viewing theatre and it's up to you to decide which one is which and who gets fired at the end by the producer. So enjoy. No editing has taken place at all. The clips have just been joined together just as they came out of the camera.
Well, there we go. The producer took on some new staff, went back, reshot it, included some B-roll, and this is the result. Did he make the right decision? enjoyed that little bit of nonsense and who do you think got the sack? Was it uh, the director or was it the editor or did the producer decide to get rid of both? I don't know but I'll be interested in your comments. If you enjoyed the video and liked it then a thumbs up would be nice and if you've not already done so Please subscribe, ring that bell to get further notifications of any further uploads. But for now, it's up to me to say, take care of yourself, look after yourself and bye.